How's it going guys? It is Rudy here and it's time for episode number 10 of Let's Play Hut. And as you can see, we're going to start this episode off by picking up Jacob Voracek. So there you go, the right winger, 88 overall. Probably our best player next to Castle for 9900 bin. And hopefully he'll turn out to be a good player. Here we go with our line. We've got Skinner, Pavelski, and Kessel with Boyle and Seidenberg on our first lines. We've got Mihalik playing alongside Zajac and Voracek on the right wing. Then we got Carlson and Garrison, our second defensive line. Third line is Kunitz, Statsny, and Parento with uh, Boychuk and Macharos on the third defensive line. Finally, on the fourth line, we got Kuhlman, uh, Bozak, and Havla with Baxter, Manette, and Bishop backing him up. So anyways, let's go to the first game here against Boomerang. I think that's an uh, energy team from Czech Republic that he's got the logo and jersey from. And to start this one off here, uh, late in the seconds, will be Carlson picking up the puck. He's going to take his time with it. He's going to feed it over to Havla. Havla gets past Wilmeister. Havla plays it over to Kuluman and completely fools the goalie there. Then we go up 1-0 with 8 seconds left in the second. Then later on here in the third, he's going to bring it out with Hedman. Feed it over to Camilleri. Camilleri easily gets past Seidenberg. Feeds it across and he leaves right there to put it away to make it 1-1. With about 2 minutes left in the third here, it's going to be Kessel playing, uh, Skinner playing over to Kessel. Kessel does a nice job for checking to keep it in. Macharos plays it over to Pavelski. Pavelski down a low to Kessel. Kessel's going to wrap it around and go 5-0 past the goalie. What a play by Phil the Thrill. And we're going to go up 2-1, and that is how that game finishes. So a nice win for our team. The streak continues, and we get 570 EA pucks from that one. And move up to 6 points to Division 3 with a 43-2 overall online record. Let's take a look at the stats. Pretty good so far. And three stars were Kessel, Heatley, and Kuhlman. Now let's go into the second game here against Cap1418. He's got the LA Kings logo and jersey and we're going to start this game off here uh six minutes left in the first we start off on the power play it's going to be Boyle with the puck he's going to play it down low to skinner skinner's going to uh, take his time with it and feed it wide open to voracek and he gets his first for our team to make it one nothing then later on here two minutes left in the first with carlson playing out uh Allstar's going to play it over his team brings it in almost offside but Saul's going to pick it up he gets it poked away carlson shoots and hartnell is right there for the rebound a little bit of a weak goal but it's 1-1, and it would stay that way until 5 minutes left in the third when Voracek comes in here. Look at this fancy skating, getting past three of their guys. Feeds it over to Garrison, who plays it to Mihalik. Mihalik shoots, it's stopped, but Mihalik is going to do a nice job to pick it up, get a loose Voracek to Mihalik. Quick back to Voracek, and Voracek, what a play. What a player, second of the game, and that would turn out to be the game-winning goal. So two-goal performance for Voracek, a nice job by him to get ourselves, ourselves another win. 593 EA pucks from that one. And we move up to 8 points in Division 3, which means we won't get relegated. Uh, probably won't happen anyways, but double the minutes time on attack. And the three stars of the game were Yakov Orchek, of course, and Scotty Hartnell and John Carlson. Third game of the episode, and this was a tough one. Big Richards, he's got the Minnesota Wild logo and the alternate jersey. And to start off here, he's on the power play in the first. He's going to play it over to Johnson, who just keeps it in, shoots, and it's tipped in by Heatley to make a 1-0. Then we crawl back, Mahalik gives it to Boyle. Boyle's going to lay it off to Mishaz. Mishaz plays with Mihalik back to Pavelski. Look at that passing play, and it's tied 1-1. Right after that goal, off the faceoff, it's Mihalik with the puck again. Feeds it over Zajac. Zajac gets laid out, plays it to Voracek. Look at that helmet fly on the side there. Look at this replay. Watch Zajac's helmet just fly across the screen. Might have, might have been one of the funniest things I've seen. I had to stop the game for that one. But later on here, low shot and a rebound goal. Hartnell with it there to make it 2-2. You'll see this a common occurrence for him. Carlson does a nice job here of bringing it in. Past the defenders and puts it on leg kick back and past the goalie. Then later on here, still in the second, he's on a 5-on-3. He's going to bring it in with Heatley. He's going to cut to the outside. It's going to go to Koivu. Koivu with the puck. He's going to take his time with it. Feed it over to Heatley. Look at that low shot again. I try to control it and he pokes it off my stick into the net. A little bit of an unlucky goal. And now it's 3-3. Three, three. And then later on here's Dajak with the puck. Makes a nice move past two of his defensemen. He's over to Mihalik wide open. Make that 4-3. Nice job by our team there. But that's when everything went downhill. He's going to bring in later. Low shot. Wheeler with the rebound. Makes it 4-4. Four, four. About four minutes later, it's going to be Setaguchi here laid out. But Falk's going to get it. He's going to shoot. It's tipped almost in. But Sassy's going to feed Perron anyways to make it 5-4. to four. And then just for good measure here is Johnson with the puck. He's going to take a low shot. And look who's there for the rebound. Oshi. And just like that, the game gets ruined 6-4. to four. And later on here, though, on the power play, Skinner with a nice couple moves to get it to Statsny. He gets robbed of a chance. So as you can see, this is the kind of game that we had before. Check does a nice job poking it loose. He's going to take his time with it and make a nice 1-2 with Statsny. And he's going to get it right back to make it 6-5 to five with a minute 51. But unfortunately, we can't go back. Look, his last, last minute gets another chance. Low shot. So unfortunately we did lose to this. Usually I'm able to defend that, but for some reason this game was just tough. 654 pucks for that one. We stay at 8 points in Division 3. But now we know that Bishop will be back. As you can see, double time on attack. I guess we should have maybe won because this guy all he did was low shots. And 3 of the game were Mahalik, Oshi, and Voracek. 
So anyways, let's go to the next game, Young Money. We got Bishop and Net now starting because Backstrom lost. So we got to change it up. And uh, here's we're going to start off here in the first. Zajac with a nice pass over to Mahalik. Mahalik tries to shot. It gets stopped, but somehow we get lucky there. And Zajac puts it in the back of the net. Later on here on the power play, some quick passing for our team. It's going to be Skinner with the puck. It's going to bring it around. Pass it over to Statsny, and Statsny has himself a goal to make it 2 to nothing. Later on, here's Carlson with the puck. He's going to take his time with it. Feed it over to Statsny. Statsny is through. Plays a little layoff pass over to Kunitz. Kunitz to Parento, and Parento goes 5-hole past the goalie. And that makes it 3-0. Then we're on the power play once again. And it's going to be Voracek in front to Havla. It gets stopped, but Statsy is right there to pick up the loose puck and puts it away for a second of the game. And that'll make it 4-0. And later on, here's Seidenberg with a beautiful pass over to uh, Mahalik. Mahalik gets uh, checked off the puck. But he plays it right back to Mahalik, who takes his time with it and puts it away and makes it 5-0. So a dominant effort here. Later on here, we're on a 5-on-3. Mahalik just plays it. Uh, I mean, uh, Havla plays it forward for Mahalik. Mahalik shoots. And just like that, 6-0. And then later on here, Boyle off the face off a big clapper past the goalie. Seven uh, seconds later, though, he's going to get laid out. Lupul shoots, and what a shot. I mean, a little bit of a glitch goal, but 7-1. I'll give him that one. And 5-1-3 uh, once again for our team. So quick passing by our team, and Pavelski ends up finishing it off. And a great job by our team here with that 8-1 win. So we finally, after that 6-5 loss, even with Kessel out, uh, we were able to win that one 8-1. 876 EA pucks from that one. And as you can see, we move up to 10 points in Division 3, 4 points away from the Division title and moving on to Division 2, which hopefully we'll be able to do in the next episode. Three stars of the game, by the way, were Paul Satsny, Milan Mahalik, and Jason Garrison. Now let's go into the last game of the episode against Habs 2 Cup 76, and this was probably the best game of the episode. Really good uh, game from both of us. Let's we'll start off here right at the beginning of the game. Placanic over to Pacioretty. Nice goal for him, and from that point on, I thought it was going to go downhill, but later on here... Mishawas with the puck trying to make a couple moves. Look at those dangles. Shoots it stopped right at Markstrom's glove. And Patrick's going to play it up to Tarasenko. Tarasenko makes a little move. Plays it over to Galchenyuk who gets through the defense. And a nice move past Bishop there to fool him and make it 2 to nothing. Not a good start for us. We're down 2 nothing, but still in the first year. Parento, the nice move to get past the defenseman. Feeds over to Statsny. Statsny returns the favor. Makes it 2-1 to one with 6 minutes left here in the first. 5 minutes into the second here is Mahalik who dumps it in. It's going to be... Uh, I think Kunitz going after the puck. Let's go back to uh, Halleck who plays it over to Voracek and Voracek shoots. It's stopped, but he's going to get that puck right back and get it right around the goalie and that would make it 2-2. Two to two. Later on here though, it's going to be Bogosian playing the puck over to Stastny. Stastny gets it poked off by Skinner. Skinner plays it forward for Kessel on this uh, first line here. Kessel's going to get the puck. He's going to snipe it. What a laser shot by Phil the Thrill. And that would make it 3-2, to two. but with the 30 seconds left here, Marlowe's going to bring it in. He takes a shot, stopped by Bishop, I play it down the right, right back to Marlowe. He plays it, uh, he's just going to shoot and it's tipped by Galchenyuk in front and just like that were 3-3. Three, three. And that game went to a shootout. Second, first shooters, no one scores, Voracek shoots on a second shot and he puts it away easily. He would miss the se second shot and Stassi has a way to a chance to put away the game and he does. Nice job by our team, so our winning streak is back up to 2 after that 6-5 uh, to five loss and uh, Dan Boyle actually got injured in this game but we do win that one 4-3 and shootout 612 EA pucks from that one and we move up to 12 points in Division 3 so we got promotion now we need 2 points for the title so anyways let's take a look at the stats here 10 minutes time on attack to 4 3 stars of the game were Alex Galchenyuk, Max Pacioretty and Paul Statsny so there you go we have 3,788 pucks after this game if you guys have any uh, suggestions in, on uh, in terms of a lefty that I could use to uh, replace maybe Masharos, uh, then let me know in the uh, comments below. I'm thinking Hedman at this point, who's got who's good for the price. Uh, if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know, though. Uh, and now let's take a look at the uh, Fill the Thrill update. And as you can see, uh, he's up to 77 points with 37 goals and 40 assists. He only got two goals in this episode. Uh, really surprisingly low. His points per game starting to really drop. Voracek actually had five goals in this episode, if you want to compare. Uh... But yeah, still playing really good Phil Kessel, and uh, there's the Phil Kessel update. So anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Hub. We're starting near the end, so if you guys start to get any players in mind around 500k's worth that you want me to use in Let's Play Hub Season 3 to start it off, I'll put together a vote, but if you guys have any suggestions, you can start dropping them off. I'll uh, put together a nice list for you guys to choose from. So anyways, that was episode number 10. Hope you guys enjoyed Let's Play Hut, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.